Unfortunately, what you're about to hear is real. The members of this radio program are simply not that bright. Or what some people would call educated. They are merely stupid. They're not trying to offend anyone on purpose. And all have played doctors on TV. You have been warned and are cordially invited to join the party. This is the men's room. Forget it, man, and get with the countdown. Get, 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 get with the countdown. Shake this square world and blast off the kicks, Bill. The trippers, the grasshoppers, the hip ones, all gathered in secrecy and flying high as a kite. This is the men's room with Miles and Thrill. You know what they say, shake your radio more than three times, and you're playing with it. You're listening to The Men's Room. Wow! Hey, and away we go. Welcome to show number 2,716. Along with Steve the Thrill Hill. The Ted Smith. Woo! Robin Fox. Uh, and my cock. Montgomery! In the men's room. On tap today, the rugged charge, Ryan Castle in the sit and spin. Today, the 10 best bands named after food of all times. Of all times. Of all times. <laughs> the word has secret words the airlines don't want you to understand. Get ready to play Profile This. Plus headlines, the men's room shout of the day, fun with listener emails, and everyone's favorite TV time with Ted. The clack. All right, here we go. Netflix said, uh, admits that 7% of people watching are also dropping a hoop snake. <laughs> Delivery arrives at Space Station with delicious ice cream and pizza, a la Take and Bake. British doctor goes surfing for the very first time in Australia and is immediately attacked by a great white shark. A man busted for DUI runs home, jumps under the covers, and acts like he's sleeping like a lark. And a horse kicks a car in Brazil. Police then throw the horse in jail. That is all coming on today's very special episode of The Men's Road. And now... Here's the question. All the bitches, good day to you and yours. All right, names. Names of people. Names of places. Names of things. It doesn't matter. Names are like smells. Some are good, some are bad, but almost all of them, all of them bring back a memory or an opinion of something, right? So if you say the name Tammy to any of us, we all imagine the same type of person. We'll spare you the details until later. If you say the name Adolf, well, most of us kind of bristle. We imagine the same person. But a shout out to the drunks that are screaming cores. Names mean a lot. So, in fact, the SBCA in North Carolina, they started removing breed labels from their adoptable dogs. And this is both at the shelters and online. They say that people form prejudices against dogs because of the breeds. And sure, you probably think something different when you picture a chihuahua versus a bulldog versus a pit bull versus a golden lab. But do yourself a favor and find out which one of those dogs bites people the least. We continue. There's a high school mascot, brand new high school, and they have a new mascot, and their mascot is the Phoenix. I have to track with me on this. So earlier this year, when the school season began and the high school football team's playing and now the high school basketball team, well, the kids go out and they support their team. And now the parents have a name with a mascot named the Phoenix because they took the time to find out that the proper pronunciation for the plural of Phoenix, any guesses? You thinking Phoenixes? It's not. The proper pronunciation, this is true, is Phoenixes, which rhymes with penises. And it's the parents that have become concerned that it sounds too much like penises. They're lobbying the school to change the map. Look, it's just about names. Maybe it's the name of a friend, an enemy, a place you went, an inside joke. It doesn't matter. Today, what we want to know, it's a men, a men's room double fill in the blank question. Good or bad, when I hear the name or word blank, I think of blank. Be a part of the big show. Call 844-999. Ola, like the Men's Room on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter at Men's Room Live. And send those emails <laughs> to the Men's Room at Men's Room Live.com. You are listening to the Men's Room Radio Network. Today. We return to the Men's Room with Miles and Thrill. Hold the show. Stand away. We go. Welcome to show number 2,716. With a critically large and charge show we have for you today. Drunk and charge coming in. Ryan Castle. 
as we will sit and spin today the 10 best bands named after food of all times. If you're thinking to yourself, man, oh man, there's so many bands out there uh, named after food. How did they narrow down this list? <sighs> Ryan has done the, uh, the dirty work. We have 10 of the best bands named after food of all time. That's generally how I uh, select which bands I'm going to listen to. Mm-hmm. I start so with food first and, yeah. and go from there. If you're uh, hungry, uh, join us uh, coming up today for Sit and Spin. Uh, the word has secret words the airlines don't want you to understand. Most of these words, well, believe yeah, it or not, yeah. are used on uh, all the carriers in some form or fashion. Some of these words you'll hear in airports. Those are universal. Some have a slightly different twist, depending on the airline that you're on. But we've always talked about the dings that you might hear mm-hmm. on the plane. With those, is it two? Is it four? Is it one? Just those, look at the yeah. body language of the flight attendants. What the, uh, what the ping represents, what the words represent, that's coming up right before we drink a toast with the shot of the day. Why do you go ping? Is there a difference between a, a ding and a ping? I'm not sure. A ping, a ding, I it's all a, a sound. I, I thought a on a plane, a ding. it's a ding, man. Is it a ping like or a ding? They go ding, ding. I feel like submarine, you go ping, ping. So if you're underwater, it's a ping. It's if a you're ping. above water, it's a ding. It's a ding. All now right, we got I'll it. follow you. Okay, gotcha. What if you're on a boat, but you're under the bottom? Are, like you're, in the like bottom you're the below? Boat, you're technically below the water, even though you're in the water. Then I think you have to ping. You have to ping. Yeah. All right, fair enough. Let's start with this uh, This high school. Parents in Farmington are petitioning to change the name of a uh, a new high school mascot out of concern that when their children cheer from the sidelines, it will sound like they're shouting about male anatomy. After Farmington High School's choice of a mascot, the Phoenix was named uh, Kyle Froughton. A parent of future Farmington students joined his neighbors to practice cheering for the new team. The result, they say, raised eyebrows. The group tried cheering for Phoenixes. Mm-hmm. But, but right. the plural form didn't sound right, uh, Frotten said. Quick on- online search revealed an alternative pluralization is Phoenices. Or it's Phoenices. Phoenices. And they tried that cheer. <laughs> and Go they were Phoenices! Horrified to hear the phonetics of the word Phoenices are we too close love to Phoenices! The Phoenices. The mascot, of course, a mythical firebird, said to be yeah. indestructible and on Ben Affleck's back. It regenerates itself by rising from the ashes. Yeah, that's how it does it, man. Much like uh, much like Ben. Uh, it was popularly chosen by students from the neighboring Davis and Viewmont high schools. You, you named them, man. You, you, you called it out. This is a, a really look at that high school spectacular look high, school. At that high school. Look at that high school. Man. Could you imagine going to high school like that? My high school looked like a prison, and it basically was. Mine looked like a mental institution, and it probably was. And it was old enough where it probably could have been. Yeah. Yeah. So the parents are freaking out about the phoenixes. Why wouldn't you just say phoenixes? I get that. Or maybe- the phoenix. Or just say the Phoenix, right? Farmington right. Phoenix. Well, I guess, but they have to do a chance. So you can say, go Phoenix, right? I guess. Why are they making this so hard? How about you just don't say Phoenixes if you can't help but think penises? Look, look there's a... Uh, Where's the school? I'm not sure what state. It says Farmington. I look, It's in Utah. It is Utah? It is Utah. Okay. Uh, I, hey, look, I... Uh, it's got to be a wild animal you could have used. It's in Utah, right? Anything. But it's still, you can go with the Phoenix. You don't have to say Phoenixes. You know what I mean? If you don't want people to say penises, then don't say phoenixes. Just I'm not, say phoenixes. I'm not sure what, what if I was in Utah. I mean, look, the basketball team is the Jazz. Which Obviously, is ridiculous. We, we know where that name came from. It came from New Orleans. It did not, did How not, did come, they from, not, did not come from the whitest place on earth. Yeah. Oh, you cool cats. Yeah. All these cool look, cats out I mean, here. Like, I've been through this, right? I went to an all guys private school. Yeah. That's nicknamed the Stags, which okay. rhymes with a very homophobic. Word you don't want to say that well, people use against guess, us all the time. Every high school you play, they say, yeah. right? Right, you survived. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's no big deal. This is feet. Fe- Just don't say fetuses. When I was in junior high, we were the Cheat Lake Skippers. That's a and stupid it, and, there, and there was an anchor and all that stuff. Right. And keep in mind that we, we it was a small lake, more like a pond. Uh, but of course. Way, apparently mighty ships have sailed on it, and they uh, named us the Skippers. But in high school... In high school. Wait, by the way, the reason Skippers is even worse for you is because the guy who played Gilligan, was it uh, Bob Denver? Is that his name? Yeah. It's from West Virginia, right? Yeah. yeah I just yeah. feel like it's all too close. The, uh, there was a, there's, a, there's a town, in, and West Virginia's got some of the most messed up names of towns. There's a town called Man. It just hey, hey, war, man. war. I mean, look, West Virginia's got some really dumb basic names, but there's a town called Polka. Polka? Polka. And Polka's high school. No. Yes. No, they did not. They're the dots. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, the polka dots. And so, like, anytime, anywhere, anytime I see polka dots, I always think about that high school because polka dots are one of those weird things that you don't see very often. There's a reason for that. Uh, well, they had their moment in, like, the, the 80s. 70s. They came back. I think 70s, the 70s, 80s. They were monsters, man. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, no, th- this team, I- I'm not sure if they still, they used to have a uniform that had spots on it. And it kind of. The looked, whole thing or just oh, the yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, I'll find it and show it to you. But it was, it was, it was, I, I, they were a 1A school. Look where Google took you. I know. That's, it's taking me to <laughs> images. Of, yeah, that's not even cool. See, like, polka dots, I have a good vision, vision of, because the last girl I saw in polka dots was really hot. I think if you see a woman in polka dots, there's a good chance she's hot. Yeah. Or she's a clown. Yeah, if you can pull off polka dots, you're probably in a nice dress. You know what I mean? But at least it's not a bad memory. We were talking earlier, and I said, you know, the Star Wars movie's coming out. So most people, if you say Jabba the Hutt, we all picture the big, fat, slimy guy. If you're like me, you picture Leia and the slave, uh, what are they, the slave dress thing. If you say Jabba the Hutt to Miles, it just takes an entirely different tack. Like, you can't say the name Jabba because instantly you tell the, oh, my God. That's the polka dot. (laughs) (laughs) Their mascot's an angry dot. But strong. Okay. Unbelievable. Polka dots, yeah. So uh, and then we have this story, and this is out of North Carolina. Are dog breed labels discriminatory? Holy hell. The SPCA no. says yes. Yeah, so they're going to get rid of them. Here's the deal. It's uh, the name of the breed. If people have a bad opinion of it, it has mm-hmm. nothing to do with the dog. It has to do with the people that own the dog. We, uh, we go to Raleigh. Boy, oh, boy. Good times in Raleigh. Uh, the SPCA of Wake County has joined a national movement by removing breed labels for adoptable dogs, both at the animal shelter and online. So uh, they basically said the goal is for families to view the dogs as individuals rather than the basis of breed and associated traits. However, that's not that makes no s- I it, get what they're saying. But like I said, it's like going on a dating website and you can put up everything about you. But we don't want you to share your gender. Look, the, the name of the dog is going to have the equal association as the breed of the dog, if there's already a name on the dog, right. you're going to have an association based on the name. And, and we, we've talked about this before. And uh, if, you're, if you're in that, that world of, uh, oh, God, let's think of a good name to name a child, to name a pet, whatever the deal is. But when you're, obviously, when you're thinking about naming a, a kid, it's going to stick with them for a long, long time. You don't want to ruin their life. And there are lots. Now, rephrase it. If you are not super rich, mm-hmm. you're not out to ruin your life. Otherwise, you name your kid something like Peaches or Apple and, and the way I look or Rocco it, or Blanket. No one who has less than $300 million mm-hmm. in their bank account would name their child Blanket. Michael right. Jackson was a very rich man, so he could name his child Blanket. Well, it, it depends on your name. Yeah, Poor people don't do that. Right. Yeah. I mean, think about it. Celebrities give their kids really stupid names, and we know that the only reason that they give their kids these stupid, horrible, dumbass, ridiculous, mock-worthy names is because those kids are never going to have to want for anything. Because you don't name your kid Peaches if your last name's not Geldof. But Bob Geldof was a multimillionaire, so you could do it. But you don't name your kid Peaches unless you're from Alabama or something. Ted, you don't name your kid Peaches because the kid's going to suffer. Ted, what did, what did you say you wanted to name if you had a son? What was it? Uh, was it uh, Jerome Smith? Jamal. 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 Tyrone. Jamal, Jamal Smith. Yeah, yeah. anything okay. like right. that. <laughs> Uh, your I name, just learned to be a short little white kid that has to answer that so name. So he can't never uh, apply for a job online. He has to show up in person, is what you're saying. No, he yeah, can apply he, to Howard University. I was about to say, he got college <laughs> free. <laughs> but he ain't getting a job <laughs> anyway. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> your last name is short. It's Hill. Yeah. So, like, when you're naming a kid, if you have a short last name or a long last name, like in my case, I tended to have a shorter names uh, for my kids, yeah. like, like Kate, one syllable, because Montgomery said so damn long, right? But with Hill, you could be like Sebastian. Like you could have a really, you could have a really long ass name because mm-hmm. your last name is shorter. Miles, I want to be very clear about something. I'm black. I can have any name I want. I can just <laughs> make up a word that almost sounds like something you've heard of, but it's spelled a little different. Yeah, like I can't lose. But I do. I do remember a few names <laughs> were brought up. Stephen. And, yeah. And like, and like it's love, Stephen. Why is it love? Because, bitch, that's why. I, I can remember having yeah. not arguments, a, but just disagreements on names based on associations that I had with those people uh, from the past. So it wasn't that my wife at the time wasn't bringing up a, a name that wasn't a, it wasn't a bad name. But my association from dealing that person was like, oh, no, I can't stand her. Yeah, yeah. I, I know exactly who that person is. We are not naming our kid after that terror that I went to school with for, you know what I mean? Yeah, totally. We had a name that uh, that we liked, and I think it's a very beautiful name, but the person, they're not the worst person I've met, but I tend to get annoyed within 10 mm-hmm. minutes of being around them, right. so they have this reputation, and I'm like, I cannot name my kid this, although, oddly, as I go back and reflect, as my hand hit the mic, as I, as I reflect <laughs> on that, 
I could have named my daughter that name because in about 10 minutes, she kind of gets on your nerves. She actually acts. <laughs> okay. All right. Fair enough. Like, I actually whiffed well, on that one. Yeah, I mean, like, what if your wife wanted, like, the name of, like, a girl you used to date or something? Be like, yeah, that's when you're honest about it. You yeah. can't. You know what I mean? You right. go, like, no look, way. man, I, uh, you know, I lost my virginity to a, a Helga or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Like, look, we can't do it, and this is why. But, but that conversation, you, you learn a lot about each other in that moment. Yeah. All right? Because in yeah. a lot of times, it's just stories you've forgotten. It's not stuff you've hidden. But, you know, 8,000 names come up, or you go through one of those name books, right? So those names you're not even considering, but they come up, and you're like, oh, Jesus, no, definitely not that name, no, no. and here's why. Although I do remember, this is a girl's name. This is a girl's name. I don't know where you have to be from for this to be pretty. The name was Thorberta. 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 So when my mother is hassling me before the kid's born, do you have any names in mind? I said, I do, man. There's one we're really strongly leaning on. I'm like, I don't want to tell you. You know, it's bad luck. I don't know if it's bad luck. So then finally, I'm like... It's Thorberta. It's hard to explain the expression on my mother's face. Like, she was, I guess, trying to be kind. Like, she didn't want to say, Jesus Christ, the worst thing. But somebody, you could feel all the oxygen just leave the room. Mm -hmm. The temperature went down like 15 degrees. And she just had this weird look on her face. Like, she was trying to hide that she was disgusted. But I kept a straight face. And she was like, "Um, Thorberta. I said, I'm kidding, by the way. She's like, oh, thank God. Oh, God, I'm like, yeah, you don't do a good job of hiding that. Yeah, what? I mean, Thor Berta has got to be. <laughs> that was the name. And I'm like, 6'2", <laughs> running 256, playing middle linebacker. They, or Thor Berta takes over for Layla Ali as the female boxing champ. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, Thor you, Berta Hill. Okay, Ted, you've already you, you've had the theory. That ain't Madden's apples, it's cartilage. Your theory is that there's a difference between a human being that is a Sarah with an A at the end and a Sarah with an H at the end. Correct. And you contend, or con- that, that basically, <laughs> if, Sorry. if someone asked, were you going to name your daughter Ted? No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. So Sarah's with H's generally, I think, are a little bit nicer. And then Sarah's with A's tend to be attractive, but a little, a little harder to deal with. Okay. All right. Fair and enough. And not that Sarah's so, with H's aren't attractive. I just feel like they're nicer. Okay. Uh, Get we, yourself a Sarah with an H. For years, we have always uh, said that, uh, look, if, if you have a female name that starts with a T, chances are you're going to be a little bit crazy. Crazy in a good way, in a lot of ways. Crazy in a bad way, in a lot of ways. But and then that it was, depends if we're talking that, sex or temper. Then that was confirmed by the movie Tammy or whatever, or the character's name was Tammy. I don't yeah. think it was a big movie. Oh, Melissa McCarthy? I don't think it got, you know, a lot of people watched the movie, but it kind of just... Yeah. It reinforced what we believed. Pretty much. And they used that name because it seemed believable. Now, now think of all the teen names that we can think of that are female. We've got Tammy. We've got Tina. Tara. Tara. Tanya. Mm, Tanya's crazy, too, man. I know a Tara. Tessa. You know what Tessa's? Teresa's? Teresa. Yeah, Teresa will beat your ass. Tracy will beat your ass, too. Yeah. Uh, but but a name with a T, it just seems like there's going to be a little bit more firepower involved. Mm. It's not that the sex isn't going to be great, because it probably is going to be great, but you're going to deal with kind of like a feral cat. You know what I mean? Like the kind of cat I got. But like, like Teresa, I give a pass to because it's Sister Teresa. And the only other Teresa I know is like a responsible person. Yeah, but here's the difference. And please, no offense to Teresa, but it's going to sound offensive. If as an adult you choose to go by Teresa, I feel like I feel like you're ugly. But if you go by Terry or something like that, you're like, all right, that, that's the fun mm-hmm. one. It's like a dude who goes, hey, man, my, my friends call me Bob. That, that's different than Robert, even though they have the same name. But if you choose to go by Robert, like my father, you're a fairly stoic individual. You're not dancing naked with a lampshade on your head. You're not jumping. Yeah. You're, you're a basic guy. You want to be treated with respect. You'll treat people with respect. And that's the beginning. Robert of, DeLeo from Stone Temple right, Pilots. Right. And he was that way, right? Yeah, exactly. Bob, Robert on the other DeLeo. hand. Yeah, Robert DeLeo. Mm-hmm. No, Robert, I was saying like Robert De Niro. Like oh, you wouldn't Robert call him Bobby yeah. unless you knew him. Yeah, he has some friends to call him Bob. You know who's, here's a new, who's Bob? You're not his friend. Kid Rock is Bob. Yeah, he's Bob. Yeah. tells you every, he's not Bob Robert. Newhart he's was not, Bob. He's not Robert. He's Bob. Mm-hmm. What do they the call you, one? Bob? Bob Saget. <laughs> if he were Robert Saget, he wouldn't be marrying a 30-year-old. He wouldn't do anything that he does. He'd but been he's married for 40 saying. years to the same woman. Right. So if you go by Teresa, I have, and look, maybe you're drop dead gorgeous. I don't believe it. But, but to me, cause you're, you're stating kind of how you want to be addressed. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But I like Bob cause I had a buddy whose son's name is Robert. And when he was a little kid, we called him Bob cause we thought it was funny. Yeah. But to me, I associate Bob with a guy that puts his hand on his genitals and then offers you potato chips. <laughs> right, Bob. That's would do what that. his kid would do. Be like Bob, nobody wants your like oh. your dirty potato so chips. So wait a minute. If I go to a party, right, and they got the chip dip, and I'm like, oh, Ted, this is Bob. Bob, this is Ted. You might not go in that the chip bowl after him. I'm just saying he was like two when he's like he's just discovered his junk. Yeah. So his hand was there the whole time. We're playing by a pool. Then he'd walk around with a bag of Lay's like, you want some chips? <laughs> no, Bob. Like, I do want chips, not from you, Bob. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
with your salty hands. Right. A question, good or bad, when I hear the name or word blank, I think of blank. 844-999-OLA. Hello, John. Welcome to the men's room. Hola. Hola. How's it going, guys? Doing good, man. How are you? Good, good. So I- I'm going to tell you the story first, and then I'll let you know what the word is, because I don't want to give it away. It's kind of like the shock shock value of it all. All right. Well, if we guess along the way, will you tell us if we're we right? win a prize? Uh, yes. You owe us $20. Yes. Okay. $20. <laughs> $20 each. Each. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Okay. So my mother uh, works for a school district down south. Okay. And um, so she gets a lot of different kids um, coming through the, the doors. So she's telling me one day, she said, you will not believe a couple of kids that came in today with their mom to get registered. And uh, the mother says, yeah, I've got two kids here. Uh, the one name is Orangelo, and the other kid's name is Yolangelo. So do you have any guesses so far? Orange Jello. <laughs> Who gave it to you? Oh, we've heard this story. Like, yeah. it's like it's like this is almost like an urban legend that either needs to be confirmed for true or but it's been the story going around true. forever. I think the problem is this: there's so, there's more than one of these kids. Felonious yeah. and misdemeanor. Yeah. We've heard like you know like right. I mean like that's the thing because somebody heard the name and decided that look. It's the black community, all right? I'm going to throw it. And even if you're black, you know this to be true. We have found a way. There's names, and then there's, there's like, African names. But you know an African name because it's really hard to read when you first read it. And you well, immediately know it. But then in, in black America, we just come up with stuff. My mother, and same thing, not a school district, but an admissions counselor at a college. Mm-hmm. And she would visit high schools and, you know, try to sell the school to them. And I've told this story before, but she said that it was Baltimore City. And she said, I'm talking to these kids, and maybe, maybe 5% of these idiots have any interest in what you're talking about. And then after the assembly, the ones that are interested can approach you and ask questions. So she said, it's a very sweet young girl sitting across from her. She was either a junior or a senior. And she said, it's weird because she was asking all of the right questions, like someone who seems serious. But she's like, I keep looking down at the sheet she handed me, and I don't know how to say her name. I said, well, what was it? She said, her name was Asholi. Her name is Asholi. I said, well, that's not that bad of a name. She said, it was spelled A-S-S, and then you can fill in the rest. Mm-hmm. So my mom's looking at it, and basically it was like A-hole Jones sitting across from her. I'm like, oh, my God. Good or bad, when I hear the name or word blank, I immediately think of blank. 844-999-OLA. More of your calls on the way. You are listening to the Men's Room Radio Network. Hola, bitches. You're listening to the Men's Room. Men's Room Black Question today. Talk about names. And uh, name association. Sometimes it's a silly name that you'll uh, you'll never forget. We hell on the on the word we had uh, a few weeks back. We had uh, a list of some of the UK's most interesting names of businesses and everything mm-hmm. else based on the play on words, so to speak. And they're pretty creative about that. And not only that, survey said that most of those businesses uh, do. Much better based on memory retention of, of course. names and all those different things. So, yeah, that was uh, that's, that's pretty well proven to be true. So, a good or bad, when I hear the name or word blank, I think of blank. 844-999-OLA. Uh, a couple of comments here. One of the stories that inspired today's question, there's the high school in Utah, I guess it is. And it's a new high school. They have a new mascot. It's the Phoenix. The parents started chanting, go Phoenixes, but it turns out the proper plural pronunciation for Phoenix is Phoenixes. That's too close to penises, so they're freaking out. Anyway, so this comment comes in and says, I went to middle school in Federal Way, Washington. We were the Sequoia Phoenix Middle School. We just chanted, go Phoenix, go. Go Phoenix, go. It's just that simple. And then as far as names go, names of people, if you came in, whenever I hear Aaron, I think of a filthy, pill-popping, lying-cheating whore. Love the show. (laughs) <laughs> we can tell Aaron, you. huh? Yeah. Aaron. See, Aaron to me always is associated with a really, really nice person on the female side. On the female side, yeah. Uh, yeah. D- guys a little more side, athletic on the guy side. Yeah, exactly. Picture, right? Most Aaron's I know were always decent guys. Yeah, solid dude. And my buddy Aaron spells it like a chick. Oh, with the E? E R I N? Yeah, this guy who uh, 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 commented here. It's with an E. I can feel him in that camera. Uh, let's see. On the, on the name subject, my last name is Bush. I almost named my daughter Rose, but I didn't want her tease. So I went with, maybe I won't give her full name, but Rose is her middle name. Oh. So Rose Bush is still there. Well done, my friend. Uh, as far as the name Tammy, we said, look, when we hear the name Tammy, and this is based on our personal experiences, 
We'll just picture a crazy chick that can beat your ass, but probably cook the hell out of a good mm-hmm. meal, right? And great in bed. Says, my wife's name is Tammy. Her sister's name is Tina. They're both short, fat, and mad as hell. That's, <laughs> that, <laughs> I'm just reading the comments sure, as they come in. Sure, sure. Short, uh, fat, and mad as hell. And mad as hell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, two more for you. You're talking about the difference between the spelling of Sarah's. I'm a Sarah with an A. Sarah uh, with no H, you're spot on. They agree with oh. you, Ted. Yeah. And finally... Was that a polite way of mean Sarah saying she's hot? Basically, she's saying, <laughs> I'll treat you like crap, but I'm hot. Uh, and it says, my ex-wife's name is Wendy. To this day, I still refer to the weather as either gusty or breezy. I never, ever say it's windy. Hmm. Just because his wife's name was Wendy. Okay. I mean, I went damn. to school with a Wendy, and she had unbelievably large breasts. So anytime I hear that word, I just think of a blonde-haired woman with an unbelievably large breasts. Like, so much so that I... It, it looked... <laughs> it looked uncomfortable. You know what well, I mean? Well, for like, her, you mean? Yeah, totally. Not, not like, how it, her it looking at you. It was, it, was yeah. beyond, it was beyond being okay, I think, for like, you know, uh, it was just too much. Like, I, I felt, it, it's not that, it was just too much. I mean, yeah. it was too much. Like, Wait, she, how old was she? At that point in time, we were in high school. And that's what I mean. It, okay. was, it was way too much. And, and I, you kind of like, she, you, you couldn't have just... You couldn't have just walked around with those all the time. Like, your back would have to hurt. Your shoulders would have to hurt. Like, oh, yeah. I'm assuming... She, I think she went on to be a gym teacher. That she probably are you kidding? That she probably had Jesus. to have some type of reduction. If you're going to do gym or anything athletic, yeah, yeah exactly. I would think you'd want to. And she was very athletic. It was just you know what I mean. It was it was it was too much. Well, man, when you meet athletic women that have big boobs, that is that is the number one complaint. Well, that she they, you know what I mean. She just, complained yeah. about my all the boobs time. get in my way. I'm like I, I I don't know how to answer this. I mean, we it's always we always hung out together. You I know, bet in, you in, did in a, in, a, in a friend group, so to speak. I never went out with Wendy, but I mean, she'd always say like like you know, th- 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 just like you. Guys think it's it sucks like she was it sucks like it's too much look we um, look but you have to understand it both ways we understand that it sucks for you but understand that yes we do think it's fantastic we don't have to carry them we're looking at them it's right. entirely yep. different yep. yeah is anybody else just thinking about a frosty wendy's yeah. is that, you think about? Is that yeah. your name association with Wendy? any woman i just think of food you don't think of an old-fashioned hamburger chili you go well, straight to the frosty frosty like like burgers it's actually a good call man you know what i never All think right. of when if you make it plural yes i think of the restaurant but i hear the name wendy uh it's just a woman i know right now okay good or bad when i hear the name or word blank i think of blank 844-999 ola hello tanisha welcome to the men's room hello tanisha Hola. So I am calling, well, because of my name. What, what now? Well, I'm calling because of my own name. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm white. That, there you go. Say no more. <laughs> what explains it? Your name is Tanisha, and you, you don't have to explain another thing, but how often are you asked, uh, like if you're on the phone or if you're in person, how many people give you kind of a second look when you give your first name? Oh, it's not at an interview. <laughs> What's that? I'm the only person waiting to see a woman. I, it's been asked, my husband's parents asked, is she black? <laughs> don't worry, they'd ask that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, most people actually don't ask, although I think it's because they're kind of scared that it'd be wrong to Well, ask. they're not going to ask if you're right in front of them. I mean, I would have no problem telling you, like, I did not see that coming. Okay, all you're right. Not, but what about, like, if you go to a restaurant, right, and they, uh, you know, it's going to be Olive Garden, so and there's a 20-minute wait, whatever. You say, like, hey, uh, the name's Tanisha, it's for a table of four, right? You're sitting there, and maybe it's you and then, like, four other black families, and they say Tanisha, and you get up. Have you ever found people giving you a look, like a black woman, like, God damn, your name's Tanisha, huh? No, uh, in junior high, though, I did have a person came in, and they're like, all right, well, the desk behind me, she's open, go ahead and sit over there. They went to, like, the only black girl in the class. <laughs> and the desk was obviously not open. Oh. And she just kind of looked at the teacher like, who's that? And I just kind of raised my hand over the air. <laughs> uh, yeah, Tanisha, that's uh, white Tanisha. There's not a lot, man. Nope. Good or bad, when I hear the name or word blank, I think of blank. More of your calls on the way in seconds. 844-999-OLA. OLA. The shenanigans continue on the Men's Room Radio Network.